Hello, Tzoharayim Tovim. I hope this message finds you in good strength, in good spirits. We have many people in our community, unfortunately, who are in Bidud right now. And it's very challenging. And this Tvar Torah is an opportunity to reach out, to say hello, to let you know we're thinking about you. And please, God, we should get out of this together. And there should be light at the end of the tunnel. We continue our discussion of why the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed. Ula tells us in Masechat Shabbat, Kuf, Daf Kuf Yutet, Lo chorva Yerushalayim, Ele mipnei shelo ayalem boshet panim zemizeh. The Beit HaMikdash was destroyed because people were not ashamed to sin. People were no longer afraid of doing things that were inappropriate or wrong. And they didn't care that other people saw them doing this. We know that Boshet Panim is an important quality. Yehuda ben Temar tells us in Masachat Avot, Boshet Panim Legan Eden. If you feel a sense of shame, if you have Yirat Chet, fear of sin, you will merit to enter Gan Eden. Why is this so important? The Maharal explains as follows. When a person sins... If they feel bad about it, if they regret it, if they feel ashamed for what they did because they know HaKadosh Baruch Hu is watching, then there's a path forward. There's a way to fix this. And the sin is, is, is less severe. It's less problematic. But if you sin and you don't feel ashamed about it, you don't care that people see you, and you don't feel bad about it at all, then there's no path forward. And this is why the Beit HaMikdash, unfortunately, had to be destroyed. In our society... Shame is frowned upon. We're told to be natural, to be free. Shame is perceived as some primitive religious emotion that is anachronistic and that should be part of the past. But in Judaism, we believe otherwise. We believe that to have boshet panim is a natural quality. Adam and Chava feel boshet panim. They feel ashamed when they sin. Boshet panim is our neshama telling us, hey, you could do better. You could do, you could do better than this. And shame, therefore, is a positive quality. We don't want too much shame. We daven every month that we shall have chayim she'in mehem bushauchlima. We don't want to have embarrassment in our lives, but we should feel an internal religious drive of shame when we do something wrong. And having that feeling is a sign that there is hope forward to rebuild, to repair, to do tikkun, and ultimately to rebuild the Beit Hamidash. Wishing you a great day. Stay in there, hang in there. We're going to get through this together. Call to.